scratch we bought that chickpeas soaked overnight boiled washed properly try to remove the skin then from here you have 50% guarantee that your hummus will gonna be an amazing hummus here we have one kilo of chickpeas it's boiled properly uh, washed the food processor is very important to do the hummus. Now you can do the in in the Moninex or the juice maker machine, but it will not give you the same result as the food process. So first things we put the check piece and we will keep it to mix properly. We need to make sure that it will not get more the edge otherwise we're gonna spoil. We open retail now almost two years. It's very tough time. And the challenge here to see that uh, you are in a proper way or you are in a correct way that we still open during the pandemic. It's difficult, but it's nice. It's hard, but when you see the smile for your guests and when you see the good reviews, like you forget how much you get tired to, uh, and how much tension and, and stress. So here is a is a check piece. After we minced nicely, you can see how it looks like puree. See here, I will add a little bit because it will become thick all together. I will add the ice <laughs> to help the machine that not get thick. Here we're gonna see the, the color, how it will how it change and the thickness for the almost how it's gonna be changed. So what has been like your favorite memory at this restaurant so far? New people, when you meet the new people, uh, when they will come again, when you do the celebrating for them, all this a nice memory when you do the events and especially in a tight place, our place is very small but we keep doing an event. So really, believe me, every moment is a nice moment in, in this place. Mm -hmm. She asked me a lot. I know. Okay. <laughs> we have the tahini and the ice. So it's good. I can continue the rest of the tahini. Why I did like this? Because I am scared from machine will get stopped. For that, I didn't add all the stuff one time. Because now you're gonna see how the hummus become thick. You see the check piece, how the how the color change from brown to white, and especially when you're adding ice. So ice it make your hummus getting more and more white. So what do you think when people make hummus? What's like the most common mistake? They pull they would uh, uh, check this cap. Okay. So this one, 
it will it will not give you that cleavage you can see the checks in the blackness. Twice so people to add all the stuff together one time and mix it. Here when you're doing the hummus, it's a game, it's a, it's a track. You need to play with the, with the hummus, with your machine. So now here, after we add the ice, we're gonna add the oil. You know why oil? Oil. Why we add the oil? To give it dry, more dry to the, to the hummus. After that, we're gonna add the citric acid or the lemon salt, citric acids. And salt. The hummus will become more thick now mm -hmm. oh. because we add the citric acid. So for that I kept here some ice water. It will help me to make it creamy. What is something you wish people knew more about Mediterranean food? I wish them to try all the all the main dishes, not only the shawarma, because Mediterranean not only shawarma, not only falafel. I start to cook like a stuffed cabbage, stuffed baby marrow, rice with uh, with oriental lamb, uh, grilled kibbe. Uh, not only in Lebanese, it's like if you go to the to uh, Saudi Arabia, like you go to try the mandi, mugbi, uh, if you go to Turkish, uh, that, or Iran, Sharif Polo. Okay, so here's the hummus. Wow. It's ready. Guys, taste is very important, but plating is more important also. So. <laughs> Where can they find you? At Ritaj. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can uh, you can find me uh, Chef Adam Cuisine YouTube, uh, Chef Adam Instagram and uh, Facebook, and also here in, in the kitchen we are doing the cooking classes. So come, come. Yeah. <laughs>